Yeti. We're going to go over the ivy cube. Ivy, I guess because it's like a leaf. So uh, students love this. Sometimes they call it the I cube. Sometimes it's the IV cube. And it's much, much easier than any other cube once you know the trick. Sometimes, sometimes even if you don't know the solution, you stumble upon it and you just, you solve it. So let's just, um, let me just mix it up. Mix it up, mix it up, and I'll go over the solution. Okay, again, um, I tell students, you know, we start with the white. You don't have to, you can start with any color you want. So we have the white base, and it's just really pretty much intuitive. Now we want to start the yellow. So let's see, what can we do for the yellow? We're doing things that don't change the white. So that's good, that's good. And now all of a sudden we have the white done. We have the yellow done. Oh, and we got the blue done. So sometimes, usually they are related. So I tell students what we do now is that we hold it like a touchdown position. So this is solved, this is solved, and this is solved. And now we have a choice. Do we hold it this way or do we hold it this way? And I tell students, all what you want to do is you're going to do an algorithm. You hold it this way because you want the center to go up top where it belongs. So basically, we're going to have an algorithm that's going to keep the right side as is, the bottom as is, and the yellow as is. So far, there was no algorithm. We just intuitively put these three sides together. It's very easy to do that. This is where students get stuck because what happens is they try to do algorithms that try to fix these three remaining sides, but it ends up messing the three the sides that they did. So we need an algorithm that keeps this intact, keeps the right intact, keeps the bottom intact, keeps the right intact. And the algorithm is going to move this center over there to the top. It's going to move the top center to the back, and then it's going to move the back center to the front. And that's a really straightforward algorithm. You don't even have to write it down. So I tell students, step number one, move up. Step number two, turn it around, move up again. The cube is kind of telling you what to do. Step number three, turn it around, 180, move down, and Step number four, turn it around and move down. And that solves. I tell the students, you know, imagine, imagine this is you, you know, imagine, imagine this is you um, up, 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 up. So you go up and then you turn around 180, turn around, up, turn around, down, turn around, down, and it really solves itself. It's a really fun cube, easy, easy to solve very intuitive. It looks complicated. If you gave it to somebody, they could spend the whole day not figure it out. Maybe they stumble on solving it. Maybe they don't. But once you understand that up, up, down, down with the 180 turning around between, it's really straightforward. Fun, fun, fun cube. I have, how many do I have of these? I don't even know. Maybe 20. And students love them.